Are span sets the right thing to use for a highline anchor? How do you rig one with a span set? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Welcome to my garage, where we're going to show you how to rig a span set highline anchor, the pros and cons, and the potential dangers you need to look out for. First of all, it's very important to understand this is the death triangle. It's pulling on these awkwardly and not pulling on these at all. The angle is terrible, which is increasing the force on your anchor instead of reducing it among all four bolts. So let's do what we call equalizing. Let's pull on all four bolts evenly. Inset anchor, I insert the span set into the bolts in the four point sliding X shape that it'll be in. Be sure to put it in each connector the same way. Here I go from underneath the beaner, then come out the top. This keeps the web lock from turning sideways later. Once they are all in, I put the sewing part in a place that won't be bent by a beaner or a shackle. Then I grab each strand to equalize it because I wanted to pull on all four bolts evenly. I like to keep each strand flat to help it equalize. I make sure each loop comes out of the connectors the same way to prevent the web lock twisting sideways later. I grab each strand before putting the shackle on to make sure I've equalized it right. Make sure the shackle has all the strands on it. Then connect your favorite web lock. Be sure the shackle pin is screwed all the way down. Then keep pulling on different strands until you have it pulling evenly on all four bolts, equalizing your anchor. Let's evaluate the connecting points. The 10 millimeter and the 12 millimeter oval quick links will connect properly to this, but it does not allow it to equalize properly. So it could potentially just pull on one bolt. The five and six mil oval quick links are just too small. It won't fit the span set and it definitely would not equalize properly. And it's extremely dangerous to use a soft shackle directly on a hanger and on a span set. The hanger could have sharp edges and the span set could and does move inside of the connector which would cut through the low melting point of soft shackles. So let's look at the pros and cons of the connectors I did use. Here you have steel carabiners and here you have delta quick links. These, the positive side is it goes and equalizes just fine, but you could potentially forget to lock these. Delta quick links also have the ability to slide the span set. However, you can forget to close these. Reality check. Just because you have a beefy span set and 40 to 67 kilonewton steel connectors doesn't mean that you're a bomber anchor. You are connecting to 25 kilonewton hangers, which is your weakest point and you need to be aware of that. I want to emphasize my point that span sets are dangerous because they do not equalize. They look bomber, yet they can easily, if being pulled a little bit more to the left or right than you originally thought, is going to put all the strain on one bolt and make your anchor extremely weak. Here we're going to simulate a massive highline failure with my spaghetti bolts. It's to show us how the force is going to be put on each bolt as they pop in a series, pop, 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 because it's going to be pulling on a single bolt at a time since it cannot equalize well. If it were to be pulled sideways, and I'm going to exaggerate how much sideways so you can see, that it pulls one out at a time, leaving you dead. Another real danger with span sets is that they're rarely backed up with something redundant, such as individual whoopee slings going to the master point from each bolt, which would really prevent a lot of the shock load or some other method of only having a span set and no other redundancy in the system. Redundancy is rare with span sets and that makes span sets dangerous. Even though a span set is burly, they're really hard to equalize and I rarely ever see them with a redundant backup to prevent them from shock loading. So I guess you really can't use span sets, therefore you shouldn't highline. I'm Ryan Jinks and this was the How Not to Highline series. It's a guide for slackliners transitioning into highlining. We are not here to spoon feed the right rigging techniques. We hope our lessons empower slackers to critically analyze any system they may use. Risk awareness can keep people alive. 
Please don't rig your first Highline without an expert. We have too many wonderful and generous people in our Highline community to go risk your life after watching YouTube tutorials. Let's keep the sport safe. And remember, no system is perfect, therefore, you shouldn't Highline. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.